generally don't see other sexually mature males in, uh, in another bloke's uh, And the females usually don't stray too far from their uh, favoured nesting sites. So uh, we're pretty sure Bondi's been working on a nest somewhere up here on Bondi Beach. Uh, and uh, we rarely see her far away from here. Uh, once we get closer to the crocodile, then we look at things like size, colour, um, other identifying marks, and even their behaviour to tell us who we are looking at. So Bondi, for example, she's about three metres long. Uh, she's fairly light in colour, um, sort of a yellowy brown. Um, and she's also got a uh, sort of marking uh, towards the, uh, just behind her jaw on the right side. Mm -hmm. uh, almost like a skin tab or something like that. Yeah, something like that. So even though I'm sure to a lot of you folks, you besides obvious size again. differences, a lot of these crops okay, will look like the same overgrown lizard. Uh, there are certainly uh, subtle differences. Um, one of the other things we can see on Bondi at the moment is that little bit of scarring just behind her nose. Wow, Lisa! Your um, friend. So that little scar only showed up fairly recently, so <gasps> time will more tell more if it uh, stays or heals completely. Um, but for now it's another thing that we can use to identify Bondi. So in the same way that you and I are completely different people, uh, you know, we look different, we walk differently, we talk differently. All these crocodiles are different as well. Which I know can be hard to get a, a full appreciation for in just one hour of looking at them, but... Um, uh, I would estimate Bondi to be somewhere in her late 30s to early 40s. Bondi, yeah, yeah, because we call this one Bondi Beach. I've been to this one a few times. Not outside the boat. <laughs> Inside the boat. Yeah, you won't see me sunbaking up there. Oh. Did you say she's 40 years old? Uh, I reckon somewhere, somewhere around her late 40s, to, uh, uh, late 30s to early 40s is my best guess. As to her. Uh, so, based on her size, she's probably at least in her 30s. Uh, but beyond that, she doesn't look particularly old. So, Looking at her snout, it's relatively smooth. Um, so typically, the older these crocodiles get, their snout sort of gets more wrinkly um, or rugose is the, is the technical term for it. Looks like she's got dental problems. There's some missing Sorry? teeth there. <laughs> As, uh, saltwater crocodiles are the, are the largest species. Um, yeah, the largest one ever found was 6.17 meters. <laughs> Uh, the oldest confirmed saltwater croc, I think, is about 110 years old. Um, so they um, certainly can live a long time. Um, but our best estimate for adult lifespan in the wild is uh, 70 to 90 years. So like, um, like most animals, as they start to get really old, they start to get weaker. Um, and uh, as a general sort of rule, weak crocodiles are easy targets for strong crocodiles to attack and kill and eat. So, uh, less than zero respect for their elders, basically. All right, one more jump on this side, Bondi. Been doing well. Hello, Bondi. Straight up. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, we're at Big Sierra and the whole river is 238 kilometers long. Is the water 
water level right now is higher than usual.